Hello my little sugar beans, my name is Cam. This is Mojo, and this is you! Right there, that's you! Are you gonna stay here? You wanna be in the video with me? I guess not. Anyways, if you guys didn't know, I am FTM trans, meaning I transitioned from female to male, and yeah. Yay! When I was first starting to transition and take hormones, I worried so much about passing. That was the number one thing. I just wanted to be seen as a guy. My face was not super masculine. I had the roundest face. Like, I still do, but testosterone has chiseled out my jaw a wee bit, but my face literally looked like I had acorns just in my cheeks the whole time. And my voice was high. So there was no getting around my physical features in the beginning of my transition. So what I could control was my dressing. Why are there sirens? Wee woo up my ass, bro. So what helped me the most was how I dressed. When I used to bind my chest, winter and the fall were my favorite seasons. You definitely know why. Layers. Mm -hmm. In this video, I want to give you guys some tips on how to pass better with your dressing. And no, I'm not talking about Italian dressing. I'm talking about clothes. You know, the stuff you wear so you don't get a fine going outside naked. Some of you may not need this, but some who are just starting out their transition or just starting on hormones might find this helpful. And I just want to state this before I even start this whole thing. This is more towards trans guys who want to pass as more masculine. You can dress however you want. There is definitely no right or wrong way to dress. This is just how I help myself pass better. And so maybe some of these tips will help you too. The first thing I'm going to touch up upon is white shirts. If you're trans, you know white shirts when you're binding is the devil. I always stayed away from white shirts when I was binding. I always stayed away from them out of fear that they would be showing my binder, which <laughs> they most definitely did. Whenever I wore white, I layered up. You could wear a hoodie, you could wear a flannel, you could wear a crew neck, and your binder and the straps are not going to be visible. This goes along with regular shirts and t-shirts too. I used to wear tighter black shirts and the straps from my binder would show. So like this shirt underneath, this is one of the shirts that I used to wear and I'm surprised it still fits me, but this one, let me just show you guys just like how tight it, it kind of is. And like it's supposed to be tight, oh my god it looks like I have no arm. Do, do, do. Oh my god, now I'm just ahead. So you can see this is, I mean, it's pretty tight. It's, it's supposed to be like, I guess, a muscle shirt. I don't even know what they're called. But when I used to bind, you were able to see the straps right through this, right through this. And then I had a cutoff binder, so you were able to see the little line right across here. So you know what you could do to fix that? Layers. Sometimes crewnecks and hoodies would bring out my hips more than I wish they did. So if that's happening to you, you could throw on a jacket. See, now, my hips are pretty covered rather than here. If this is a little bit tight, see, I still do have hips. Um, I'm not going to show you guys because I am dysphoric about them. But the jacket will just cover it all up over here. Black clothing is known to visibly slim you out more. So if you do want to hide your hips, black clothing could become your best friend. I didn't wear sweatpants out that much in public, but when I did, I would pack. Just because of that whole myth with the sweatpants and the dick print. Packing in sweats made me feel so much more passable. I did wear jeans most of the time, and I still do, but when I first started dressing masculine, I would buy very large baggy clothes, including jeans. So I would wear jeans one to two sizes larger than what I actually needed. Because apparently I thought that would help me more, but it literally just made me look sloppier, in my opinion. Skinny jeans, ripped jeans, slim jeans, 100% made me feel more comfortable. But my hair didn't help me pass well because my face was still feminine and my hair was pretty long. Not like long, long, but it was like a Justin Bieber cut. And sometimes that made me look like a lesbian, which I did not want. So I wore hats a lot. I either wore a hat backwards or frontwards. Not to the side though, don't do that. Surprisingly, it made me pass so much better than I did when I didn't wear a hat. Not really sure if it's just like the stereo type that guys wear snapbacks but I didn't get misgendered as much as I did when I didn't wear a hat. So for probably like eight months starting my medical transition I was always wearing a hat except not to bed because that's weird. If you guys are just starting your transition and you need some affordable places to shop for clothing because I know it does get difficult to find clothes that fit your body right and to fit your height right and to fit the way you want to look. When I first started shopping, I went to American Eagle and I don't really recommend American Eagle because of their prices. They do have really nice jeans and really nice flannels, but unless you have 200 bucks to drop on two pairs of jeans and a flannel, then go for it. But if you don't, there are other alternatives that I think are so much better. 
H&M is definitely my go-to. They have affordable jeans. All their stuff is nice. It fits me nice. This hoodie is from there. This shirt is from there. And I feel like their prices are pretty reasonable. Who just fell? And H&M always has stuff that's on sale. And if you don't want to go to H&M, you guys may not have this um, in your state, but it's definitely online. The store is called Primark. They are so cheap. And realistically, their material is not that good because of how cheap they are. But some of their stuff is really, really nice. These jeans, let me show you. So these jeans right here, I'm just gonna show you my whole outfit. These are just black skinny jeans. I got these jeans at Primark and they were $10. Yeah, 10, 10 zero. I mean, oh my God, one zero. Yeah. I've also bought another pair of blue skinny jeans with rips in them for $10. They fit me nice. They're a little bit too skinny because I'm pretty sure I just bought the wrong size, but I think the length is good. And for my height and my hip size, usually I can't find jeans that are at a good length. Usually they're too long or they're too short, but these, they just fit perfectly with high top vans or low top vans or no shoes. They come just to the right ankle space thing. I guess, that I want my jeans to fall to. Again, I just wanna say that you can dress however you want. This is not like a guidebook to dress to be passing. It's just little tips that I use to help me in my experience as a trans guy. If you guys have any tips, definitely leave them in the comments below because you could be helping someone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that these little tips helped you. If not, sorry. My social media is down below. If you have a desire to follow me on that, you could do that. If you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe to me. That would be amazing. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would also be cool. I hope you guys have a great day and I love you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. I don't know what you celebrate, but whatever you celebrate, I hope that it's filled with love and peace and happiness. Thank you guys again for watching and I love you so much and I'll see you soon.